Hi, my name is Jesse Ehrenstein. I'm lead applications engineer at Alleycat Scientific. And today I'm going to show you how to use the gas select function and the composer functionality of an Alleycat flow meter. The gas select function is our firmware that we use to switch between multiple gases and gas choices. The Alleycat unit has over 98 gas selections of gas mixes to choose from. And by selecting them, we tell the unit the appropriate properties of the gas that we are measuring. From the main screen in the center, we can see that our default selection is air. Uh, we press the menu button to get to our menu and see that the gas select option is in the bottom left hand corner. Press that bottom left hand button to go to gas select. And we see our list of categories of gases. Our first choice is a recent option where Saved in the memory, we keep recent gas selections that the user has used. And right under that, our second choice is our standard gas select menu. Let's go to the standard gases and see what's there. Here we have the standard gases that are selectable from this menu. Air, methane, carbon monoxide, etc. And we'll go ahead and scroll down through the menu and select neon. Now we can see that neon has replaced air as the central selection and the gas select is set to neon. Let's go back and look at that gas select list again. And we can take a look at some of these other categories that we have and we can use the page option here. We have Com uh, among this list, we have standard gases, breathing gases, chromatography gases. We can look at some others. There's laser gases, pure non-corrosive gases, lots of options to choose from. Now, among these choices is the composer user mixes choice. And we'll select this one. Composer is Alleycat's firmware that allows the user to create ready-made gas mixtures on the fly and that the custom gas mixes allow us a lot of options. We can create mixes with up to five gases um, and component percentages up to a hundredth of a percent. There's 20 slots in which you can save 20 individual custom-made gases, gas mixes, and we're going to create one now. So the carrot is next to the only selection and we press set to grab that selection. The first menu option on, on the composer adding a gas process is the composer mix name. So we're going to name the gas mix that we're about to create. We do that by scrolling through the letter options here in the center of the screen. So we're going to call this first mix CAD. We press set and we see composer mix CAD and a number of selections around the buttons, the radial buttons. One of them is add gas. So we're going to add our first component of the gas mixture. When we press that button, it takes us back to our list of categories so that we may choose one of the existing gases on the gas select list. And the carrot's next to our standard list, which we've already worked with, so let's keep working with it. Press the select button to pick the standard list. And we'll scroll down to argon to, to pick argon as our first component gas in our gas mixture. We'll select argon. And the new screen shows us it's, it's arbitrarily selected a 50% content of argon. So let's go ahead and set 32. And let's do some tenths of a percent. We'll do 32.13% argon as the first component part of our mix. Once we've selected our percentage appropriately, we press the set button. Now we see... Composer Mix CAD has as its first component 32.13% argon. So we need to add another gas to the mix for it to be a mixture. Again, we'll select our standard list. And this time, we'll scroll down to hydrogen. 
and select hydrogen as our second gas in the mix. And we see here, once we've selected hydrogen, that the firmware has already figured out what the balance percentage of hydrogen would need to be to equal 100% for a complete mixture. And we're ready to, to accept that. So press set. Okay, so our composer mix CAD now contains 32.13% argon, 67.87% hydrogen for a 100% total mix, and our mix is ready to save. Composer mix CAD has been saved. We see here on the bottom that it allows us to set our mixture from this screen. So we'll press that button. And now we're back out to our main screen and we see that our new mixture is set as our current gas selection on the mass flow meter.